collector. All right, guys, what's going on? Just hanging out at home, going through all my Xeons right now that I have available that I've been getting through either buying the Optiplexes or buying Dell Precisions or buying them, doing some research on which ones I wanted to use for gaming. And now I have a whole collection here. I have an E5 1620 V2, so four cores, eight threads. Here we have an E5 1650 V2. This is very common. This one's used a lot of the X79 motherboards. They use this one, E5 1650 V2. It's a six cores, 12 threads, if I'm not mistaken. And it's pretty fast. It's 3.5 gigahertz base clock. I think it's 3.6. You can overclock these. You can overclock these, I think, all the way. I've seen a video on YouTube that they overclocked it all the way to 4.3 uh, 4 or 4.7 gigahertz. So I don't know if you want to do that on a, on a Chinese motherboard, but I guess on a pricey X99 motherboard, you can do stuff like that. This one over here is a 1620 V3. I got this one in one of the in one of the Dell Precisions I got. This one is a four cores, four threads. Basic, basic, basic. Um, CPU 3.5, I think it's 3.6 hertz on the on the speed, but it's very basic. It's very low power. So this is another very common CPU Xeon that's used for gaming. I know you see a lot of videos on YouTube. The only bad thing is you, you see the base clock right there at 2.6 gigahertz, and this is the E5 2640 V3. I believe this is a 10 cores, 20 threads. No, no, this is eight, eight cores, 16 threads. The one that's 10 cores, 20 threads, it's the, uh, it's the E5 2650 V3. I got the 2640, 2650. The 50 has 10 cores, 20 threads. This one has eight cores, 16 threads. And the uh, speed, this one's a lot slower. This one actually came this one came with the motherboard that I got on eBay that was supposed to be the one that you use for. It was like a board and motherboard and chip setup. But it was a DDR3 board, so I couldn't use this chip. I had to use a chip like this one. This one took a while to get here. I got this one from China, and this is the E5 2666 V3. This is the next one that I'm going to try to use on the stream. On the on the Dell Precision, if I sell this Precision, I'm gonna use this one on the next one, because this one, the one I'm using right now is an E5 2667. It's eight cores, 16 threads, at 3.4 max all turbo, and this one is a E5 2666 P3. This one is a 10 cores, 20 threads, and the max turbo is 31. I believe it's 31 or 32. 3.2 gigahertz so it's a little bit slower than this one but it has a couple more cores i mean not this one guys sorry <laughs> i covered it in my hand but you know the one that i'm using on the precision now but yeah guys let me know which ones you guys want me to see test if i should want to you want to see some game testing with the 2640 the 2650 or the 2666 10 cores 20 threads 10 cores 20 threads way slower speeds 2.9 2.3 so way faster on the on the speed this is a very this is a very unique cpu the only you can only get this from china so all the other ones you can get them on ebay in three to five days this one i got it like in four days this one is like eight bucks price wise i don't know guys the price wise I think I paid like $15 for this one. This one came with the motherboard. This one I paid a lot. This one I paid $30. Came from China. And I still haven't used it. This one came with the Dell Precision. 1620, I believe. 1620B3. I think I paid like 20 bucks a long time ago. I made a mistake on that one. And this one, this one I got with the trade when I traded my. When I traded the Vetro case, the guy gave me this chip that's supposed to be for the motherboard, but it's actually not. And then this one, I believe I got a long time ago. 
I think I paid like around 20 bucks. So all these chips are very cheap, guys. And I'm going through my stuff and I see that I have 16 gigs of DDR4. Uh, 2400. I got 8 gigs of Kingston. Uh, I think it's 1333 or 1600 megahertz. Uh, DDR3. Got another stick of DDR3. So, man, I'm stacking up all my chips, guys. But let me know which Xeon should I use next? Should I test next? With a GTX 1080. All right, guys. Let me know in the comments. Let me know. I'm the Xeon guy. I need more Xeons. All right, guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. I think I'm going to use this one. 2666 V3.